Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything. I'm your host, James Egan. And today on Misconceptions Week, we're looking at dinosaurs. Dinosaurs looked scaly. Some dinosaurs had feathers over their scales, including the T-Rex and the Velociraptor. Dinosaurs appeared 600 million years ago. Dinosaurs aren't as old as originally thought. Archaeologists have committed recent studies to show that they were only existed for 234.1 million years ago. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Dinosaurs were actually their own species. Dinosaurs can't be classified as reptiles because they're not cold-blooded. But the weird thing is, they're not warm-blooded either. They can regulate their temperature based on their current terrain. The biggest dinosaur ever was the Brachiosaurus. A dinosaur was discovered in Argentina in 2014 called the Dreadnoughtus. It was the biggest dinosaur ever, weighing 65 tons and measuring 85 feet long. Flying dinosaurs were called pterodactyls. Pterodactyl is a word that people use when they mean flying dinosaur, but experts never use this term. When you think of the word pterodactyl, the image you get in your mind is a pterosaur. There are many species of pterosaur, but the most well-known one is the pteranodon. This reptile appears in Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, and The Good Dinosaur. You might be thinking, wait, I just called it a reptile. I thought you said dinosaurs aren't reptiles. Well, that's the thing. Pterosaurs were dinosaurs. Pterosaurs were reptiles, but they're not dinosaurs at all. In fact, there is no dinosaur that could fly. All dinosaurs lived together at the same time. The Stegosaurus existed between 155 to 150 million years ago. The T-Rex existed 68 to 66 million years ago. This means that modern society is closer in time to the T-Rex than it is to the Stegosaurus by at least 17 million years. Dinosaurs lived in the sea. All dinosaurs lived on land. The most famous sea beast in the dinosauric era is the Plesiosaur, aka the Loch Ness Monster. Let me rephrase that. The Loch Ness Monster. This creature was a reptile. Dinosaurs were savage beasts. The majority of dinosaurs were herbivores and only ate plants. There's a dinosaur that shot an ink-like substance at its prey. Anyone who's seen Jurassic Park will remember the Dilophosaurus, the dinosaur with a sprouting mane that spews an inky goo. However, the mane and ink were invented for the movie. The Tyrannosaurus rex was the largest carnivore and most ferocious dinosaur. The Gigantosaurus and the Acrocanthosaurus were bigger and fiercer versions of the Tyrannosaur. The T-Rex wasn't even that big. There were over 15 dinosaurs bigger than it. Many sources say the T-Rex had the strongest bite in the history of the animal kingdom, but this is also untrue. The honor belongs to a crocodile-like -like creature called the Purosaurus. This eight-ton beast was the length of a school bus and had a bite force of seven metric tons. There are complete T-Rex fossils in museums. Despite the fact it is the most famous dinosaur ever, there has never been a single complete T-Rex skeleton ever found. The T-Rex could only see its prey when it was moving. Their vision is based on movement is a great line at Jurassic Park, but it's untrue. T-Rexes had exceptional eyesight. The T-Rex had small arms. The T-Rex's three-foot arms seem small compared to its 18-foot body, but they were strong enough to lift 430 pounds. Not together. Each. The maximum a human could bicep curl with one hand is 260 pounds. Get that T-Rex a gym membership? Dinosaur means terrible lizard. Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur in 1842. Wow, he looks freakishly like the first Doctor Who. He said it meant fearfully great lizard, but people simplified it over time. Dinosaurs had two brains. Some sauropods, which is a long-necked dinosaur like the Brachiosaurus, were so immense that it was theorized that they could not have one brain transmitting signals and impulses as they would take too long to travel through its body. It was believed that sauropods might have had a second brain in their gut. This theory has never been taken seriously, nor has it ever been any evidence to show that it's true. The most common sauropod was the Apatosaurus. Despite how well known it is, archaeologists have found more Titanosaurus remains than any other long-necked dinosaur. Historians believe that the Titanosaurus was the most common sauropod during the Jurassic period. You might be thinking, wait, the Apatosaurus isn't the most famous sauropod, it's the Brontosaurus. This gets so confusing. The Brontosaurus was a dinosaur. Or alternatively, the Brontosaurus was not a dinosaur. The Brontosaurus was discovered by O.C. Marsh. Soon after, it was discovered to be a hoax. It was an Apatosaurus with the head of a different dinosaur to give the impression it was a completely separate species. As a result, usually Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus are synonymous. But this gets even more confusing because in 2014, another long-necked dinosaur was discovered and it was given the name Brontosaurus because People already think a Brontosaurus exists, and they just said, ah, oh, screw it, just name it that. So, does that answer the question? 
I think I was meant to clarify that and I just made it more confusing. Mammals evolved after the dinosaurs died out. Mammals lived before, during, and after the dinosauric ages. The first dinosaur ever discovered was a T-Rex. Some sources also say it was the Iguanodon, which is a dinosaur that Godzilla is based on, but that's also incorrect. The first dinosaur ever discovered was a Megalosaurus. Velociraptors are depicted accurately in Jurassic Park. As said before, Velociraptors had feathers, and they were only one foot tall. The dinosaurs in Jurassic Park resembled Utahraptors. The Triceratops was a dinosaur. A Triceratops was simply a teenage Taurosaurus. Its head structure was so drastically different before puberty that paleontologists believed it was a distant dinosaur until recently. Mankind will eventually clone a dinosaur. DNA has a half-life not that kind, of 521 years. After that time, 50% of its chemical bonds will have withered away. DNA would be unreadable after 1.5 million years, and there would be nothing left of the dinosaur DNA after 6.8 million years. With the most recent dinosaurs dying out 65 million years ago, there's no theory as to how dinosaurs could ever come back to life. And finally, we know what dinosaurs look like. A lot of it is guesswork. Gideon Mantell thought the Iguanodon's thumb was its nose. It took 40 years before this was corrected. There are other factors that complicate this further. If, hypothetically, every dinosaur had a trunk, we wouldn't know. There are no bones in a trunk, so there'd be no evidence in the fossils to tell us this. That might sound like a silly example, but it's actually a viable case. Only in 2016, Dr. Jacob Vinther discovered that some dinosaurs, such as the Psittacosaurus, which means parrot lizard, had beaks. In fact, it was only recently discovered that the T-Rex had lips. So what you see in museums is archaeologists' best guess of what dinosaurs may have looked like. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Be sure to subscribe to Facts About Everything. Follow me on Twitter for updates on upcoming videos. Check out my Facebook page to let me know what subjects you want me to talk about in the future. Thanks for watching. See you again.